Goofberry Pie, written and drawn by George Alexopoulos. Ladies and gentlemen, I have in my hands something that I have been asking for for quite a while. A story that I can put in the hands of my children. And when I saw the announcement on Twitter that this was uh, going to be released, and then I saw some of the artwork and the wonderful, wonderful, <clears throat> uh, and the the absolutely wonderful just watercolor style art here. I will do my best to cover up the words as much as I can. I was very excited about this. But now I can say without a doubt, I'm even more excited to have it in my hands. But what is Goofberry Pie, you might ask? Well, Goofberry Pie is the story of Strudel the Mouse. Now, Strudel the Mouse very much believes in being a hero and going on adventures. And we actually follow Goof... <clears throat> I'm sorry. We follow Strudel the Mouse in his epic quest to find a berry, the best berry that he can, to put on top of the Goofberry Pie that his mother is making. Now, the Goofberry Pie, well, it's not a pie. It's more of a cake. But something that I absolutely loved about Goofberry Pie and reading it was that instead of opening it up and doing what I normally do and open it up and I read things critically and I I I analyze how the how the words are laid on the page and all that I went hold on and I went upstairs and I got my youngest daughter and I say hey sweetheart come here daddy wants to read a story with you and my heart lit up I got to read a story with my daughter about a young boy who wanted to just be a hero a young boy who cherished his mom and dad whose mom and dad are supportive of him who believe in him and he listens to his mom and dad he goes out, he makes friends, he believes in being kind to others, and overall wants to do the best that he can. He constantly asks himself what heroes would do in the situation that they're in. He wants to make sure that he can give the best present to his father, who's coming home from a hard day's work. He recognizes how amazing his mother is, and her restaurant that she owns. And overall, Goofberry Pie was just a fantastic read. And the artwork was absolutely amazing. My daughter a few times just said, oh my gosh, I love that. It's so amazing. She would sit there and ask me questions as we read through Goofberry Pie. Dad, what do you think is going to happen next? I think this is going to happen. Oh, really? Well, I guess we'll have to turn the page to find out. And then she would reach over and turn the page. And in fact, she loved it so much that she came up to uh, came up to me a little later. And she says, hey, Dad, do you know where that mouse book is? I said, yeah, it's over on my desk. I'm going to review it tomorrow, sweetheart. And she went and looked at all of the pages. Goof Perry Pie is what I think that we need to see in the modern day culture. A book that is absolutely fantastic for little children, has fantastic messaging in it, and the language used is not childish language. It's written very well and very competently. And it doesn't seem to want to treat children as if they don't understand what's going on. Goofberry Pie is something that is needed right now. And we have it. So many stories in the past five to ten years have absolutely been eviscerated in front of us. Childhood heroes of ours have been demoralized and degraded on screen. <clears throat> We have seen strong characters, both men and women, absolutely 
uh, taken over by a political messaging. We have uh, seen storytelling change before our eyes in a way that is breathtaking. And with a breath of fresh air, I was able to experience Goofberry Pie with my daughter. To George Alexopoulos, I think you did an absolutely fantastic job. The artwork is beautifully done and reminds me of the artwork from books that I read when I was a kid. It's part of the reason that I picked it up. The biggest surprise of it was that you didn't write the language in a way that was infantilizing. No, you wrote the language in a way that the parents could appreciate and that got the point across to the little kids. You definitely made something that children want to go back to. Because today, when I was looking for Goofberry Pie to sit down for this very video, I had to go upstairs and ask my daughter if I could have it back. Because all she wants to do is flip through it and look at the pictures. And her favorite part of the book, I will tell you, is when a certain tall, lanky rodent in your book says, oh, no, no. Uh, she loved, I think she likes how I say that a little bit in the book. But ladies and gentlemen, overall, I think Goofberry Pie is an absolutely fantastic children's books for parents to get. Now, I am not sure if this is just a limited run or if there is a demand if George will find a way to make more prints of it and send it out. But I will say this. I had to pick it up. He released it on his Etsy. Now, if it is still on Etsy, if Goofberry Pie is still there, I will be going uh, and putting the link down in the description below for all of those parents out there who want to read a story to their children about the mouse named Strudel and his heroic adventure and the friends that he meets. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out this video. I cannot recommend this book to parents enough. It is completely and utterly amazing. It makes me smile in my heart, in my soul, and on my face. And it makes my daughter smile even more than me. And that is a memory that I will never be able to forget. So thank you, George Alexopoulos, for this absolutely fantastic story. And I do hope that we will see more stories from Strudel the Mouse in the future because I think I can speak for my daughter. She might want to see another one. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. And I am so glad to have all of you here. And if you like what I said here or you have comments on what I said here, go down below and make sure to leave a comment because I dedicate a special live stream every Sunday at 11 a.m. to all of you. It's called Sunday Coffee. It's where I go on and I get to read all of the comments that you leave throughout the week. And then I also interact with you while you're in the chat. So don't forget to leave a comment, like and subscribe because that absolutely helps the channel out and don't forget to join us on friday nights right here on a drink with crazy where we host the show iron age nights with iron age media and mr daniel p riley we have some fantastic authors and movie producers on and hopefully more guests soon so ladies and gentlemen thank you so much and until next time Cheers. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.